we're on page 14 through 16 of page 1126. And I want to talk about um, linear inequalities. Of course, the root word of linear is line, right? Equations have an equal sign in them. If we have a less than or a greater than sign, it's not called an equation. We call it an inequality, all right? Because it's not equal. One side is less than or greater than the other side. Now, the pace mentions, and I, I really I tend to agree though there are different ways of doing it. The best way is to try to get it into the form y equals mx plus b. Now, instead of equals, we're going to have less than or greater than, okay? But we want to get it into the form where the y is a positive y, and then uh, we'll talk about what to do with the rest of the terms. Then it's very easy to bring that over and just put it right on the graph. And we're going to review one problem with you here, and then you can, I think, easily do the rest yourself, okay? So I'm going to, I need to get the y on the left. So I'm going to start by subtracting y on both sides, all right? Less than or equal to x. Now I need to get rid of the 3. So now I have negative y is less than or equal to x minus 3. We're not done though, okay? We can't have a negative y, so we need to divide by negative 1. We have to do the same thing to everything. That will change this to a positive y. This will become negative x. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3. And then, do you remember when we're doing inequalities, if we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to take the direction of the inequality and flip it around. Now, if it's or equal to, then we keep the or equal to, okay? So we're kind of mashing together the greater than and the equal to symbols, and it's both of them together. Now we have the equation of a line. And if you remember from previous math courses, let's review real quick then. If we have um, <clears throat> this part is the B, that tells me where it's going to cross the y-axis. So I can go up here to 1, 2, 3. 3 on the y-axis is where it's going to cross. The slope is negative 1, which means I'm going to come down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. So this is the line, okay? But notice it says y is greater than that. So we are going to shade either this side of the line or we're going to shade this side of the line. Because it's greater than, then that means, looking at this y-axis, we want to take the upper side, the greater side of that axis, compared to the other side. So we would shade all of this side to be greater than. Now, should this be a solid line or a dotted line? That's the last thing we need to review. The solid line is if we have a line underneath, because it could be equal to that. That means the points that actually lie on this line do satisfy this because of the equals. If we did not have the equals, then that means any point up here would make this a true statement, but the points actually on the line would not make it a true statement. So then we would have to make it a dotted line if we did not have the equals, okay? So we kind of used one problem from the lesson to help review a lot of things in this section. They don't give you a lot of problems to do, but hopefully enough. <clears throat> and I think we chose one of the more challenging ones and you're only having to graph one of these per problem. Sometimes they have two equations per graph, but they did not do that on this one. And uh, so I think you should, I think you should do fine. Remember those little tips that we gave you on this, and that should take you up through page 16.